predictability. The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. Did I get delivered here? Somebody tell me, please. This old world confusing me. Hi, I'm Cutler Adamson. And I'm Rain Cox. And, and this, this is your, your weekly report. report. This past Tuesday, the boys' varsity baseball team won their game against Ingram in a landslide. Their final scores were astonishing. Wednesday was the fourth annual Safe and Drug Free Co op Wellness Fair, where prizes were won and families learned about community organizations that are ha about living a happy, healthy lifestyle. Yesterday, seniors finally received their graduation announcements, so we're just one step closer to graduation in the end of the school year. How exciting! Uh, today, boys varsity baseball has an away game against Comfort, and the ASVAB test is taking place. Uh, over to you, Daniel. Thank you, buddy, Rain. Our softball and baseball team have had great seasons so far this year. The varsity baseball team swept district and are now headed into playoffs. Our softball girls just got done playing Luling in a series and are now on to round two of the playoffs. I'm here with Riley and Louisa right now so they can tell us a little bit more about this season. Riley, y'all just beat Luling in two games and have round two of the playoffs next week. How comfortable are you feeling about that? Very confident. We've had a really good season so far, and I think we're going to keep that up all the way through playoffs. How far do you think I'll go? Um, I don't know yet, but pretty far, I'm hoping. Who on the team do you think has had the best season so far this year? Emily LaRoche. She leads us in home runs, and she's a very good athlete overall. That's it for me. Thank you, guys, and good luck next week. Now I'm here with senior baseball player Andreas Elizondo. Andreas, y'all just had senior night Tuesday. Are you sad to have played your last home game? Yes, very sad. What are your thoughts about playoffs? I feel like we're going to go on a great run this year. We have a lot of good Bye. athletes, and <laughs> I feel like we're going to do good in playoffs this year. Okay. How far do you think I'll go? Uh, I think we can go to state again with this group of athletes on the baseball team. Thank you, Andreas. All right, now let's go to Chris with more sports updates. I'm here with Wyatt Ledesma, professional golfer here at Blanco High School. Wyatt, tell me, um, who do you think y'all's best golfer out there is? Uh, it would be definitely Jacob Gallus for sure. He's, he's been putting in a lot of work this year. Yeah, I did an interview with him not too long ago. He did seem like he had a lot going for him. Yeah, he sure does. For sure. And um, regionals, wasn't they all just completed? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, uh, tell me how that went. The top three teams go to state, and we were lucky enough to be in the top three. Definitely could have placed higher, but, you know, we're moving on to state, and that's all that matters. Yeah, sounds very exciting. How do y'all feel about state? How, do y'all think y'all are going to make it far? We feel pretty confident about it. Um, our region is definitely the hardest one out there. So uh, if we do good in our region, we feel like we can place pretty high in the state this year. Well, good luck to y'all's team, man. Thank you. Really appreciate it. I'm here with Emily LaRue. She throws shot and disc for Blanco High School. Emily, tell me who all advanced besides yourself. Carly ended up advancing in shot, but she ended up placing fifth at the regionals meet. A ride advanced at the 300 hurdles and 100 hurdles, and then our 4x4 advanced along with Lacey for the 400. Sounds like a lot of people. Um, tell me, I know you did shot put, so tell me, do you think you did good, bad, do you think you could have done better? I think I did pretty well. I ended up throwing 35, which is a new personal record, but I placed third, so I do not get to advance to state because it's top two that get to advance, but overall, I think I did pretty well. Well, I mean, you haven't put in the work. Your placement shows for it, as you got first in discus and are advancing to state, correct? Yes, I am advancing to state, and I'm really excited. Hopefully it goes well. If everything's on, then I think I could end up placing, but... Well, I mean, it sounds pretty good. I mean, good luck. Thank you. And now on to Liz with UIL updates. Thank you, Chris. Tomorrow's the UIL Academic State Meet. The Social Studies team will be competing, as well as Cameron Salazar with current events. Cameron. 
Where is the competition going to be held? Tomorrow's event is going to be held at Liberty Hill, Liberty Hill High School, northeast of Austin. Hmm. What is something you think you're going to suffer with? Well, both of my events require a written essay, and that's definitely not my strong suit. I keep failing hard on that. Yeah, I get that. Do you think the competition will go well? I'm thinking I can get within the top 10. Hmm. There's only about 15 people there, but I can get top 10. Good luck. Good luck to all the teams that are all competing. Now to Duke with the weather. Thanks, Liz. This week has been pretty wet with lots of rain. There's supposed to be rain tomorrow, too, so make sure you have an umbrella. Next week is shaping up to be quite nice with temperatures averaging around 88 degrees Fahrenheit and humidity staying low all week. If you have any plans for the great outdoors, you should do them this week. That's all for the weather. Now on to the announcements with rain and color. Thank you, Duke. Now let's wrap up with some announcements about the upcoming week. Uh, tonight we will be going to Bobcat Land for a very big baseball game against Comfort. The boys need a win to secure their uh, spot in playoffs, so good luck to them. Monday will be the beginning of the end of the school year, uh, so all the big exams are coming up, including all the AP exams. But also we have EOCs. Tuesday is the Algebra 1 EOC, and Wednesday is going to be the U.S. History. Biology is going to be on Thursday. If you'll be taking any of these tests next week, so make sure to study and get a good night's sleep the night before. On Monday, we'll be having the NHS Spring Induction Ceremony at 6 p.m., and Wednesday will be the FFA Banquet at 6.30. Uh, Wednesday is also Cinco de Mayo, so plan ahead to find a good queso recipe. And good luck to Emily LaRue, who will be traveling to Austin on Thursday for the state track meet. The boys' golf team will also be headed to state on May 14th through 15th. That's all for the week, this week's news. Have a good time.